Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here. Um, so I just made a video. I wanted to make another video. Uh, so I've actually done this in the past, sort of going over what a JavaScript closure is. Basically a closure is just a function that remembers its scope, what it has access to, and therefore you can sort of use that to create a uh, method chaining approach that is very common in uh, libraries like, or, or frameworks libraries, uh, whatever, in jQuery, you know, where they have that, you know, multiple, you can do like, add class, remove class, you can chain all that stuff together uh, linearly. But it's like, you know, what what the hell really is a closure, you know? I mean, looking back at my video, it was pretty um, bare bones and incompetent. So, uh, you know, I, I don't want to confuse you guys, so I'm going to do a very basic example, right? So say we have a, uh, you know, a, you know, we have an interview question and the interview, interviewer says, you know, write a function for me in JavaScript that uh, uses a closure to uh, return two numbers, okay? So you might think like, whoa, what, you know, like if you've never done anything with closures, and occasionally, yeah, it can get difficult. Let's sort of look at this. I'm gonna write this function and I'm gonna explain it for you guys step by step. So let me write it first. We're gonna have this function called add, add two numbers, okay? And all this is going to do, this is gonna take in an X and a Y, all right? And check this out. What we can do now, is we can actually, inside of here, we can return a function that saves x, okay? It's gonna, it's, so it's just gonna take in one number. We're gonna return a function which takes in x, uh, or, or actually, no, it's gonna take in y. And because this still has access to the x, we're gonna return y plus x. So check this out, guys. We can, down here, we can do num1. We can set that equal to add two numbers with three, and, uh, Make sure I got this. Okay, so what's num1? Let's look at what num1 is at this point. Well, it's not anything, but, well, let me log it out, sorry. Let me log out what it is. It's this function. It is not a number right now because we haven't added anything together, but check this out, guys. What if we invoke num1 with three? Let me, sorry, let me log this out. Let's invoke it with three. And let me, let me sort of explain this magic, what's actually going on. Let me change it to like 10, so it makes more sense. What we did, we created this, you know, sort of, if you've done any work with Angular JS, a lot of the, their modders, a lot of their, uh, you know, design patterns, software design patterns behind, you know, creating services revolve a lot about, you know, you're returning um, this revealing module that has access to methods on it. Uh, you know, it's keeping that, the private members private, but it's also exposing these methods that have access to these private members. So here we've created this, function add two numbers, it takes in this initial value of x. And here we've created this handle, you know, add two numbers. But just to sort of illustrate it some more, let's do this. Let's do let's pass it three and ten. So maybe you've never seen anything like this. But let me just let's log out y plus x. And it, we get the same result. So that makes it's a little easier to see. So what's actually happening? What's happening here is we're returning a function, okay? when we call add two numbers. And it, it, the way it works is uh, this function doesn't necessarily have access to this, but this function remembers the scope of what's being passed in as x. So in that case, you know, we can continue to chain on more and more methods, right? So we're returning a function y, and say we wanna return one more function with z, um, and what we can do in here is just console.log you know, x plus y plus z, and you can keep this going. So check this out, three and 10 and five. Now we have 18, right? So there it is, there's that like method chaining pattern, right? Each function is gonna have access to its parent. And so that's why we can continue to, you know, sort of chain on, and that's how we'll add two numbers, because each function function is remembering the previous arguments that it was passed in, because we're returning from it a function that has access to the scope of what the previous function had. So hope that sort of clears it up for you guys. Um, you know, I'm not JavaScript expert. I try and get as good as I can every day. So soon I'm gonna come out with a video sort of showing you guys some different resources for how I learned JavaScript. One of my favorites is Free Code Camp. A lot of it, yeah, it does take time. I'm still trying to work through the backend projects myself and I'm gonna put them out there for you guys. But anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, please subscribe, support the channel, give it a thumbs up, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, have a great day.